Hello and welcome to my November vlog. Well, technically we are at the tail end of October, but I always film my monthly vlog. Um, I tend to do it like right at the end of the month and into November. And I don't know if you are familiar with where I am right now. Um, some of you might know and hazard a guess. It's an abbey in the southwest of England and it's a massive abbey and it's in the spiritual centre of Britain and it's where I live part time and if you've got it right, well done, yeah, I'm in Glastonbury with my staffy and just having a walk home around, a lovely day, it's windy but it's not cold and I just think the year, this year I made it a mission to do a monthly vlog and I've done that, some longer than others so I'm quite pleased I've been able to do that and just share with you bits of my day what I'm up to or in the month etc and it's a nice autumn day I'm going up to Halloween so I'm glad I'll be here for Halloween and I'd woke up I'd woke up this morning to the news that Matthew Perry who plays Chandler in France has died I think that's really sad um, Many people um, who are Generation X, like myself, will have remembered Friends. You either loved it or you didn't. I loved Friends, really did. Um, and I like Chandler, the character, because of his dry wit and humour. And I also like Phoebe, she's kind of like a hippie chick. And um, I just think that's really sad. Um, yeah, so this changing subject really, this is my favourite part of the Abbey and if I'm doing healing work for clients I tend to do it in this little space because it's just very private and I've got a little niche there I can do my work in and I'm always doing client workings in here when I'm in Glastonbury because it's secluded, it's private and it's just a nice little niche um, named for Thomas the Beckett whose um, feast day happens to be my birthday so that's another reason I like it so I've got my caravan home here so we're going there later me and, the, me and my boy and because it's such a nice day I thought we'd have a wander around the Abbey YouTube and have a look at the aisle. Last time, well, a few couple of years ago, this got damaged, vandalised, which was a disgrace. Yeah, that's the high altar. Just zoom in. I don't want to go too close. And then let's turn back this way show you this is supposedly where they found King Arthur and Guinevere's remains whether it was them I don't know but it's worth a look so let's have a peekaboo shall we I'm not going to say for you if you want to read it just pause the video Yep, supposedly found there, but whether it was really them, I don't know. I suspect maybe it wouldn't have been the actual King Arthur. It might have been though, but it's a nice legend, isn't it? It's a nice legend. Right, so I'm going to walk back, head back to the car, go back to the little pad that I have down here. I would like to live full time and that was the plan. Unfortunately. 
unfortunately have a 91 coming up 92 year old mum who really mobility. she won't have care she won't pay for carers and she won't go into a home and i don't blame her for not wanting to go in the home so it looks on falls on me to look after her because i'm i can do it i'm on my own i'm a widow like she is so that's that i mean the positives are she's independent she hasn't got dementia she's very poor with her mobility but she can wash and dress herself although it takes her ages but that's a good thing so i'm gonna head back to my little pad and i will eventually move down here when that will be i don't know um but in the meantime at least I've got my second home here and I can come here as and when I like. So, I shall see you soon around the town. So I walk up high street. I always feel a bit of a plank and I've got a camera rolling and I'm walking anywhere could always pretend I'm on a Skype call <laughs> but might as well I was going to save this filming for another day I've just left the Abbey but two birds one stone if you get the gist so that you're seeing it from my height. For a Sunday, it's pretty busy. Man, myth and magic. This lovely window. That painting there is beautiful. It's like a dragon. This shop's called the Red Steel. And then here's a hippie shop, really nice shop. I got a bath and dress in there for about 20 quid. Proper chuff with it, like. Right. Whoa. My dog has a tendency to run out of the road. Oh, cool. She's dressed in a great outfit. Well, I like her hat. Right. I'm going to cross over. Just give you a bit of a gander. This is Glastonbury's Remembrance Tree for those that have passed over. I um, I put something up there once for my husband, my late husband. Um, and then I'm going to show you this window here. It's very nice. When people are looking, they're looking at the dog. Because I'm, apart from my dreadlocks, I'm dressed quite ordinary today. Look at this, nicely done for Halloween. Lovely, isn't it? Proper nice. And I like this side as well. isn't it I hope you can get the advantage of it I hope the reflection from the window isn't too bad but yeah hey ho that's pretty good and onwards and upwards as they say I'm finally making my way back to my car that's a um, that dog over there that white one I'm zoom in bull terrier And 
mine's a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So it's Staffordshire Bull Terrier and a Bull Terrier. Staffordshire Bull Terrier, Bull Terrier. Look at these. Isn't it nice? I'm, I've got mushrooms in my caravan, you know, my this, decorations and ornament things. So, that's Linda Ravencloth shop, and no, I'm not going in because I'm not really here to buy anything really. There's nothing I need. I need a diary. And I bought a couple of candles for someone. I'm working in the Goddess Temple Wednesday. Um, Very good with other dogs. So, uh, let's have a look at this one. Pretty cool, eh? The Hollow Hills. It's been called the Speaking Tree Bookshop. Now, I can take you in one shop. Called Star Child. Let's have a gander in. So, I do like um, space aromas, um, herbs. That's nice. Cards, books, um, different incense it's really difficult to kind of show the splendor busy shop because it's so busy um, which is good for the shop and I'm gonna show you this and we're gonna go I like the way they set up that theme for each birth sign and then a curiosity shelter, bench and herbs. Right, that's that. Let's pick, let's go. Um, I'm only going to film a little bit more because I need to get back, unpack my shopping. Um, that's a very old building, medieval. And gonna walk on up and then where I'm gonna go I'll stop since of Asgard's a really good shop it's very similar to um, what to name it Star Child but I prefer Star Child much prefer Star Child Wildwood, another nice shop. Uh, there's a bit of a queue. Looks like we're all queuing up to go to work. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to show you this shop window and then we're done. Look at this. The goddess and the green one. What a lovely shop. And this one. Gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, so I'm going to leave it there because I'm going to go in and I'll catch you soon. I'm in a pub called the um, Georgian Pilgrim. 
and the reason I'm walking through here is because it's like an old street and this place is supposed to be haunted. The cool decorations. And um, that's me in my witch's hat and my Halloween top and my dreadlocks. And yes, this pub is reputedly to be haunted by whom or what I have no idea but I'm just walking through to uh... Hello. Hello. feel uncomfortable filming but I'm going to show you the outside of the pub and I'm going to do a um, I do a series called um, let's talk about ghosts and I'm going to film one but it's going to be separate to this because the reason being is something proper weird has happened to me I wouldn't call it a ghost experience, but I would definitely call it paranormal. Um, I'm just going to cross over and just wish um, my dog would behave. He's pulling in one direction, I'm in the other. So I'm just going to show you the outside of this pub. It is the it's very old pub. So that's the pub. It's got mullion windows. It was built in about 1400 and something and it's called the Georgian Pilgrim. So I just thought I'd share that with you and get on with my day. And today is the 30th of October and tomorrow is Halloween. And I've got my dog in his Halloween costume. So I shall check in with you soon.
seven Halloween. I have just done a ritual to honour the mighty dead, the collective dead and my ancestors. And I'm just filming my setup. This is my home here in Glastonbury where I live. Not as often as I'd like, but it's nice to be able to come here and do this little honouring of the dead. If you can hear pitter pattering, it's pouring down with rain and you can hear it on a caravan roof. Blessed Samhain to all. And Samhain just doesn't stop on the 31st of October. I always feel that the energies of it carry right through into November. And although this is a November vlog, I've filmed much of it at the very back end of October because I'm here in Glastonbury and I wanted to bring those energies through in this vlog. So... I honour the ancestors and send blessings to all of you. Blessed be. just thought I'd film outside. Um, the shop I've just filmed is Stone Age. I'm in the courtyard. It's very windy today. We have Storm Kieran here in Glastonbury. These little rings. They do look pretty but I don't think it's a good idea to use anything like this as offerings. because it's not natural. I think it's better to use like natural fibres to tie to trees. But it is it beautiful there, look at that door. We'll just have a walk through and then I'll leave you here because I'm, I'm doing some work in the temple. I do Melissa when I'm here in the Goddess Temple and that's what I'm doing this afternoon. So, Blessings. I've just finished up in the Goddess Temple and I just thought I'd share how it was for Samhain. Um, I have done a quick tour of the Goddess Temple before and I don't know if you can hear but it's blowing a hooli outside because we're in the midst of storm. Kieran and this is our Goddess Temple where I work when I'm here in Glastonbury. Beautiful flower display there. And then coming round, this is the middle section. We have the bit here where we do the seinen and the wheel of the year calendar there, which is the temple version. And in our little temple shop, there's a temple library. In our little temple shop, we have the versions here that you can buy, so you've got your own. And this is a temple shop. And then in here, it's very dark, but this is a little, it's like a womb space. Um, you can sit in here and have space. There's usually an altar at the back there that's lit. But because I'm just closing up for the day, it's, um, and that's the back of it. It's kind of like a womb space, that kind of thing. So 
I thought that while I've been working in the temple today, I'd give you a little tour. I did give you a tour. I have given you a tour before. And it kind of might have been around the same time this time last year. So there you go. And I hope everybody had a blessed Samhain. And we're in November. I can't believe it. I really can't. So I shall catch you all soon.